Hey, I'm Echo Limits, and I'm here at the studio to show you more from Die by the Blade. Today, let's take a look at the stages. When designing a fighting game, it's just as much about the actual stages as it is about the characters, weapons, or even the music. Uh, I think stages set the mood. And uh, here at the studio, what we focus on is delivering a lot of variety in these stages. We do have two types of environments. Uh, first type is uh, environments that will be used in single player games, uh, like in the story and so on. So uh, these are, have to be like uh, connected together uh, and has to have like coherent feel to them. And then we have another type of, of environments where we fight and th those are uh, basically something that we wanted to create, something cool that we think and feel like should be in the game. Some, some uh, environments are inspired directly from the Bushido Blade games. Uh, in terms of how those are created, it's usually uh, we collect a bunch of references, uh, images on the art station and so on, uh, and we search for something that we like like uh, lighting, uh, some shapes, uh, maybe, you know, um, environment elements. Die by the Blade is very much about actually merging traditional with new and bringing it kind of, kind of together, right? The best part, or the best way I can explain it, is like samurai punk meets uh, real traditional Asian culture sword fighting. And so our stages want to bring in that feeling. You may see a stage that is like a cityscape with like neon lights and very much of like a modern feel. And it might be actually a really nice contrast to see uh, traditional characters with traditional weapons on this like modern look. Uh, and I think that would be a lot of fun for a lot of people. Hope you guys enjoyed another look behind the scenes of Die by the Blade. Uh, I can't wait to show you more. If you'd like to learn more, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. You can follow our social medias like Twitter and uh, you can join in the discussion on Discord. Our developers are there and we'd love to hear from you and the community. So thanks again, hope to see you next time.